Hey, um, wow, I'm blocking the light, so let me get out of that way. I, I probably shouldn't do this at night, but I'd like to get everything done before uh, the end of the day so I can post it in the morning so you can get going. Uh, this today was a mess because I started around 8 o'clock trying to get stuff posted by 9 and Schoology shut down. Um, so, uh, I wanted to talk about inertia. I wanted to talk about inertia because we started making a correlation between torque. When I apply a torque to a wheel, right, I get angular acceleration, okay? If I apply a force to a mass, I get, or a net force to a mass, I get linear acceleration. Um, so based on this, my net force equals mass times acceleration, this quantity right here represented the inertia, okay? And what is inertia, right? That's that resistance to change. Uh, so in a linear manner, if I have a mass, the larger the mass, the more resistance it has to change, okay? Um, so with that, um, I, I want to make a correlation with inertia and rotational inertia. And I don't know if I can get this to work uh, because my computer doesn't allow me uh, to be further away. So let's see if I can rotate this over where I can get a little more space, okay? I've got some hand weights here. If I rotate and my hand weights are in here, right? Easy, okay? If I put my hand weights out here and I try to rotate, I can feel a different resistance to change. It's harder for me to rotate than here. And this is kind of that um, ice skater principle, okay? Ice skater principle. Honestly, you could go get two cans of beans and do this and notice the change. I don't even know why I only had two hand weights at 10 pounds. I'm gonna hurt myself with physics again. Good times, good times. Uh, so uh, what I would say, right? Let's see if that'll come back in focus. Come on, come on. It did, it didn't, it did. There we go. Uh, Rotational inertia, right, has something to do with the radius or where that mass is located. Okay, and we're going to try to make that correlation. Um, so we've said that net torque was related to that radius times that force. And if I want to get this into kind of a rotational quantity, that force is equal to mass, and then I'd have radius times alpha. So I'm going to take this and plug it in there. Okay, so net torque, whoops, a daisy, net torque, right, is going to be equal to radius times mass, radius, and alpha. And if I can combine some things together and kind of have alpha in the same rotate or location as it is with its linear equivalent, I will have m r squared times alpha. So the torques. So if I correlate that with some of the forces, right, mass times acceleration, I can start to see, I can start to see torque and net torque causes an angular acceleration. Angular acceleration and linear acceleration line up. And this is called the rotational inertia of an object in rotational motion. And we say I, right? Sometimes they call it moment of inertia. Right? It's going to be equal to the sum of all the m r squares. Okay? So if I have one mass at a certain radius, it'd be this mass times radius squared. And then if I add another one, I've got two masses at that radius squared. And if I added another, if I had another arm and could add another weight, 
I'd have mr squared of the third object, okay? So essentially, it's the sum of all the mr squared. So mr squared, right? mr squared represents the rotational inertia of an object. So uh, if I'm going to make this correlation, force equals mass times acceleration, and the net torque is radius times uh, uh, force, there's also uh, the final, final equation. Do you love that I'm using a little kitty sink to do this? And I'm going to just erase this. Okay. So, moment of inertia is I. So, my net torque is equal to my inertia, rotational inertia quantity, times alpha, just like my net force is equal to my mass times acceleration. So you can start to see that each rotational quantity has a linear-like equivalent, and there's usually an element of radius that ties them together. Uh, so I'll find uh, some practice for that, uh, probably an online activity uh, to let you get used to finding the total rotational inertia of an object, and then um, maybe practicing uh, finding the total, maybe practicing that connection with torque. Okay? All right. Um, I hope your Tuesday goes well, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.